G'day guys, how are you going? So, had a bit of a delay that I wasn't expecting, you know, so blew us out maybe a week and a half, two weeks, which is, you know, a bit disappointing, but, you know, the, the ceiling guy came um, on the this, on, on a Thursday to come and um, put the ceilings up and stuff, and so I spoke to him in the morning, he said, yeah, no worries, we'll have the other one up, and then we'll do the, you know, because they've got to do a, quite a few coats, so do a coat, and then let it dry, and then do another coat, and then another coat, and they sand it back with their machine and everything, ready for the painters, so. He said he'd be back on the, on the Saturday to do the final, um, you know, sanding off and everything. So I called my painter straight away. I said, "Mate, can you are you able to still come on Monday? Or, you know, just to confirm that it's all good to good to go and stuff." And he said, "Yeah, no worries." Um, yeah, so they rocked up on Thursday, and then Friday didn't hear from him, and I, I messaged him. I said, are "You coming? You know, because you've got the painter coming." He goes, "Yeah, yeah, we'll come on Saturday," and then just did, didn't rock up on Saturday either, and then. I messaged him and they said, yeah, we'll come on Tuesday. And so the painter was, so I called the painter and said, look, man, just let you know that the ceilings aren't up in the bathroom yet, but everything else can go. Can you, can you work around that? And he was like, yeah, yeah, that, that should be okay, you know. So the, the painter came on Monday and, and started, you know, because I wanted to rip all the floor protection and, and, and get things ready, you know. So anyway, um, he, he just made a start. And then Tuesday came around and didn't, didn't sort of come either then. And sort of messaged him and said, hey, how's it going? He goes, yeah, yeah, I'll come, you know, on Thursday or whatever. And then by the end, of the tiler was sort of finished. There's, there's nothing else he could he could do. And so he had to leave. So I've got to pay again to get, to get him back to paint the ceilings. Because, I mean, it, it'd probably take him, you know, half an hour each ceiling um, to, to do the painting while you're painting, you know. Like when you're painting the massive ceilings and you just got a couple little rooms to do, it's very, very easy to do. So anyway, um, that, was a, that was a bit disappointing and, you know, um, but anyway, they came back on another Saturday and then they um, came for a couple hours, put a ceiling up, put, put some stuff and then they, then they left to go to Bunnings and then <laughs> never rocked up again. <laughs> and anyway, he's, he's, he's come back and he's finished now and sanded it. So it's, it's all, all done and completed and stuff. And, but I don't know. Um, and I, I, can underst I can understand um, why, it's, why it's sometime like that when you're at one man show. Because I think, I, don't, I think the reason they don't want to ring you up is because they've got no option for you. They can't tell you when they're gonna come because they've got so much work ahead of them. And he got this massive job in the, in the city, which is like 500 square meters of ceilings or something that he had to, um, that, he, that he got and he quoted for. And I don't know 500 square meters, that's, that's like you know, way bigger than my warehouse. And I think far out, how do you even start putting that together? So he's probably got a lot on his mind and you know, um, but it's, you know, at the end of the day, he's done a really good job, and that's that's the thing. If you can get a trade even to come to your house, and he does a really good job, that's 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 the main thing, you know. But um, I'm glad we don't have that in our business. We're always kept informed, um, and especially if you've got a few staff members, you can say, look, we can't come today, but we can come on Thursday or something. So I think customers, I find our customers are really good. If you can just say to them, hey, listen, sorry, one of my guys is sick, I can't come today, but I'll come the following Tuesday, then they can plan things out. But just that not knowing, that, that, that's what sort of kills the customers and kills the relationship. And that's why the tradies get the bad, sort of bad rap all the time, get a bad reputation because they never never rock up, you know, sort of thing. Um, so it's, it's really hard being a one-man show and you haven't got a, you know, like a, um, you know, it's, you've got paper diaries and stuff, just things get out of hand and you forget stuff. So anyway, it, it's fine. I'm, I'm not having a win, just, just one of those things. This is, uh, it's, it's been really good. Um, so far the, the, the plumber's been amazing <laughs> brendo was you know he's absolute lifesaver the work he's done and the scope of works that, that he's done has been so good and i'm just so thrilled with the tyler you know dylan's just such a good tyler i just love it I love going in there um, and sorting it out but um anyway ceiling's all finished um yeah pete electrician he's been great too giving us advice and so um, I'll show you around now. We, I'll just show you the floor protection is still down. We, we we put that down when the ceiling fixer, um, so he could finish. Um, so Pete's uh, Kylie laid out where all the lights were going. I hadn't seen them, so she's put them all all down and the, the wall sconches, apparently that's what they're called. So he's put a few of those on yesterday. Um, so that'll be good. Uh, so I'll, I'll show you around later how it's sort of you got a few downlights going, so you can see. And then um, today from uh, Parkwood Plum Tech. Get your stuff from there, mate. Uh, Emma and the girls uh, know know what they're doing. Know know what to. Um, good advice too. You know, saying this is option, that option. So yeah, it's it's really really nice dealing with them. So the truck's coming today to drop off all the stuff. So that'll be good, and then we can get continue on and um, start putting in some toilets, which is probably the best part of the job is when you're finishing it off. Um, you know, so there's a spot where there was no toilet. There's a toilet that works and everything now. So. Anyway, and uh, be a painter's coming back to paint the ceilings at about 9.30, so that'll be good, get him sorted, and hope that we can work around. 
And uh, yeah, that's a, I think that's about all that's, that's coming on today. So anyway, but I'll show you how to go through. I'll give you a quick tour of what it's looking like now before we start anyway. Okay, two secs. G'day guys, coming in, I'll show you around. So here's the new um, green wall with the, um, with the pendants that, uh, that, that Kylie's chosen. Yeah, it looks, looks amazing. So these new, new um, power cords, so you've got two USBs plus a, a C in the middle. So it can be for your phone and your headphones or whatever. So I think they're, they're pretty cool. Um, that you get those from Bunnings. Um, and here's the, well, I'll show you what this lot looks like when we turn it on here. Hey, looks all right, huh? Okay. So we've got this green wall all the way around here. So here is the bathroom. So still got the floor protection, but they put these, watch your eyes, eh? The bright, oof, look at that. What makes it go flash? So I don't know. That's those wall sconches. I wonder why it flashes like that anyway. Um, got the uh, heated towel rails, so they're all, all ready to go. So got my uh, shower, rain head shower coming out of there. We've got the fan, it's only just enough room. And see that, see I put a, I put a line on there for Pete. I said, that's the center of the fan and you've got 310 mil space. And so that was exactly where it was. And uh, he said it was exactly Three, there was steel just there, so he was like, "Yeah, you're spot on," which is which is good. So that's the only spot. Not ideal, he said, to have it right near the corner, but anyway, she's she's all all fine. Um, got some downlights too. We can turn those on. So makes it all go flashy, but anyway, that's that's what the bathroom looks like. Um, we put some downlights in this hall too. I'll just show you that while we're here. Check this out. That makes it nice and bright. Now. Um, be a bit quiet now because um, Lulu's, Lulu's still out there, so she doesn't know about this yet, which is amazing. I, I can't believe she hasn't waltzed in and um, seen anything. So we, what we do is we keep a bit of blue blue tape there across the door, so it looks like the paint's wet or something like that, you know. So it keeps her out. So anyway, check out the um, this is the little desk lamp. Uh, it's not desk lamp, sorry. This is where her bed's going. So she'll have that little. little Little desk, uh, oh, sorry, little little bed lamp that she can you know, turn around and stuff. So very nice. It's like it's like it looks like marble at the end of it. So yeah, got the um, cupboard and everything all sorted. Um, had like my little brass handle. So I'll just try and sneak in here. Hopefully she doesn't come in. Whoa, sneak in here. So we've got the lights here. So, oh yeah, that's the uh, that's must be the fan light. And then this one must be the. Uh, down lights, yeah, so I've got down light, pull it, you know, and there's going to be another light up there, that light's going to have a, like, tilting, so it shines onto the glass, so you can't see shadows and anything like that, but anyway, so that's what we're up to, guys, and so I can start taking the floor protection up now, and um, so when that truck arrives, we can start putting the toilet and maybe hang the hot water system up and get it going, because I don't think we're going to plaster till maybe, um, you know, a couple of months now. Just good to be back in in a, in a room and have you know a couple bathrooms instead of you know one one bathroom for six people, one toilet for six people. You know, first world problem, people. I know there's people out there that don't have toilets, which isn't really cool. Um, but anyway, I'll just turn these lights off. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.